Hey, how you doing? This episode of Rails e-commerce is brought to you by thoughtsandfitness.com. I want you to go to this website. I want you to go to monthly workout plans right now and buy, subscribe to a monthly workout plan. The world is depending on it. Do you want to look like this guy? This could be you. This could literally be you, but you haven't subscribed. So get on over there and subscribe. Anyway, we're going to actually be building thoughtsandfitness.com. So I'm over in my Rails application, and you'll notice that I added some code to the home screen. Um, where am I? I want to get to Firefox. So this is the original Thoughts and Fitness. I added this section right now. I'm not going to walk you through creating this code. It's honestly a Tailwind component. You can find it on there. But if you want to do that, go over to thoughtsandfitness.com. After you subscribe, of course, you're going to go to your web developer inspector. And you're going to copy down this section right here. So close this div tag, hit command C, and then go to your Rails application and then put that right under the image. But um, in this episode, we're actually going to be, we're going to be making a, we're going to show, showcase our daily workouts. So how are we going to do it? The first thing that we need to do is we need to, um, create a partial. So we're going to do touch app backslash views backslash daily workouts underscore daily underscore workout dot html dot erb. So I don't know if I've gone over partials, but they're just little snippets of html that we can use <clears throat> so that we can render. And oh, I have gone over partials now that I think about it. So you'll see this file comes right here. Um, let's see, we got our, we'll open that up and then we're actually going to go over not to our daily workout controller, but our home controller, cause it's going to be on the home page. I'm going to create an instance variable called at daily workout. And we're going to set that equal to daily workout dot last. So we are grabbing the most recent daily workout from our database. And then we're going to do a little rails if statement right now. So percent if at daily workout, we'll do percent end. So in case the site's just up, you know, or we don't have a daily workout or something happens to our database, this is just going to prevent an error from crashing, prevent our program from crashing because daily workout will be nil. And therefore we wouldn't want to render the partial. And then we're going to do percent equals render. Uh, it should be daily workout. Um, and then let me do a little test. H1, hello. Come over here. We don't need the regular thoughts and fitness site. Although you actually do if you have not subscribed. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, you need this up still. But uh, let me go command R, press the page. Looks good. Okay, we got hello. So. Now it's time to build our little partial. So a partial is a lot like a uh, React component. Excuse me while I take a sip of my shake. So yeah, it's a lot like a component. We can build building blocks that are reusable. And that's what we're doing. So we're gonna do div class py-12 bg-white, set the padding really large, make the background white. And we're gonna do div class max w 7xl, so max width 7xl, I'm sorry, mx-auto, which centers things I believe, px-4, sm, px-4. So at the small breakpoint and up, we're gonna have a padding of four. Oh, this should be px. Oh, this should be px dash six. And then at the large breakpoint, we're gonna do px dash eight. Uh, and that is outside of the quotation marks. Do boom, boom, boom. Do command V. And then we're off to another div element. And then we're gonna do div class. 
lg text dash center. Um, I might change that in a sec. Give me a sec. Do h2 class text dash base text red dash 600 font dash semi bold. I wonder what that does. Tracking wide. That just makes our letter spacing a little wider. And then we're just going to set the uppercase class to this. Um, today's workout. So on the original thoughts and fitness page, um, this is only available to subscribers of which you should be one. But for now, I'm just going to showcase it. And then after when we add our user model and we get some subscriptions going and stuff like that, then I'll make this partial only show for one admins and two users. So I'm go like this. I'm going to do P class MT-2 text 3XL leading dash 8 font extra bold. And this is why I go oh, tracking light, not tight. Oh no, tracking tight text gray 900 SM text or Excel. As you can see, the Tailwind classes are very intuitive. And if you remember our daily workout model, which I'm going to go over to migrations, it has a string of focus, which is like, you know, if it's leg day or whatever you're working on. So we're actually going to put that right here. So we'll do percent equal add daily workout dot focus. Um, and actually, I think we're going to put the text red 600 down here. Let's see how that looks. Uh, and then take text red out here just to experiment a little bit. Take long explosive power. I don't know what looks better. I feel like it's better to be consistent. So we're actually going to keep the, the text red right here and get rid of it right here. Um, and then we're going to do another. Actually, we'll forget about that for now. We're going to make a table right here. So we'll do table. Fold this just so it's easier to see. So after LG Tech Center, you do your table with a class min w dash full divide dash y divide gray 200. Our table head class bg dash gray dash 50. Boom, boom, boom. So then we're going to do a table row. We're going to do th scope equals call class px-6 py-3 x left. Feel free to fast forward this if you'd like. Font dash medium text gray 500. I feel like I should be speeding this up on you guys. Um, ooh. And we need to do uppercase tracking dash wide. Sorry, and we're actually going to go like this. So it's going to be lift, and then we're going to have three of these table headers. So one, two, three. And then the second is going to be sets. The third is going to be reps. Oh, it should be tracking wider. I'm sorry. So command F. 
tracking dash Y. Oops. Ah, we got to do this manually. Sorry. Tracking wider. Tracking wider. Tracking wider. X out of this. We'll come over here. Let's see what this looks like. Your sets, our reps, our lifts. And I feel like I missed something. I did not. All right. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to create my table body now. So we're going to iterate over each of the workouts properties. So let me explain that in one sec. So I come over table head, I do T body class, G dash white, divide dash Y, divide dash gray, dash 200, I do percent at daily workout dot workouts dot each do workout and then we're going to pass it a block of the HTML we want to render. Oh, maybe I didn't call this. Ah, yes, it's lifts. I'm sorry. Not lifts. Workouts is what it was in my original file. So at daily workout dot lifts dot each do just change this to lift as well. So if you recall, we have our lift model, each lift, there are many lifts, they belong to a daily workout. Every daily workout has many lifts. The lift has an attribute, sets, uh, reps, name, and so on and so forth. The lift name, the sets, and the reps. So, again, we are going to do TR, create a table row, TD class, PX-6, PY-4, white space dash no wrap and then we're going to do a div element we are not going to style and do an h2 class text dash base text red dash 600 font dash medium tracking dash wide Sorry, I'm trying really hard not to cough. And we're going to do percent equals workout dot lift. I'm sorry, lift dot. What is it called? Lift dot name. I'm sorry. <clears throat> As you can see, I was not the best namer um, in this series. So after we have our table. Data one, we're just gonna copy this. We can do boom, boom, and then all we're gonna change these are two sets. And then reps right here. Boom, 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 let me fold that, make it a little nicer to look at. Reload our page, and you'll see we have our deadlifts, four sets of three, box jumps, three sets of five, and power cleans four by four. And actually I'm gonna come up here. I am going to gonna add a BR right here. See how that looks. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So um, we have an instance variable where you create a partial um, rails infers. We you know we didn't have to use the daily workout instance variable. Rails just infers, that's what we're talking about. In the partial, the partial, so we create our instance variable in the controller. We run a check. Sorry, we run a check to see if it exists. If it does, we render the partial. The partial infers the instance variable from um, the parent. I guess you could call it. And then we, you know, we go to work right here. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're actually going to write some tests. So we're gonna test the creation of daily workouts. 
we're going to test the um, rendering of daily workouts and then we're going to write a test to make sure that if no workout page renders properly. So I will see you in the next videos for those. Thank you for watching Corey's Corner.